Most people would be insulted if you called them a bird brain, but our next guest, Clint, says, consider it a compliment. To help our imagination take flight, please welcome exotic bird expert and show-stopping bird entertainer, Clint Carvalho, and his amazing birds right. to the show. Hey, Dr. Jim, are you ready back there? I am ready. You Clint. are? Is Kitten ready? Kitty, you ready? She, I, sounds like she's ready. Well, open that door. Let's get her okay, out. Okay, here we go. Come here on, Kitten. Go. Here, Kitty, 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 Kitty. <laughs> Is, is a true testament to her excellence of her uh, neural pathway to her cerebellum. And we're going to show some of that today, how that actually works. Because when, when I entered the segment, Clint, I talked about, you say, oh, you're a bird brain, but bird's visual cortex is small, but the way that they're able to create these neural pathways and integrate other senses is pretty remarkable, right? It's unbelievable. It's kind of like us when we're on adrenaline. We just, everything is just like... 10 times more uh, acute. So they can do some pretty amazing things. Amazing things in flight. <laughs> so we're gonna try this right now. Are you guys ready out there? I hope it works. <laughs> Are you ready, Kitty? Whoa! And there's two. Wow, what about their ability to speak? Well, speaking is very, very cool because we all love parrots because they can talk. And the reason why they can talk is they have what's called a serenex. We have a larynx. We have vocal cords, and they have these four muscles in this air sac where they can constrict it while they're pushing air across it to create different types of sounds. And do they understand well, what they're they, saying, or do, do they understand you? Well, I know most people think they just mimic, but the larger parrots are about 20 times smarter than a dog. They learn how to speak just like you and I by association. So when people have a, a, a bird and maybe somebody... <laughs> <laughs> so, their beaks are their hands. We'll get into that. But anyway, this is Beatrice. She's a yellow named Amazon. We're going to do a little oh. talking. Are you ready, Beatrice? Hi, Beatrice. Hi. Hi. Hello. Can you say hello? Hello, eh? Hello, eh? <laughs> <laughs> That's her Canadian version. I'm sorry, it's man. Canadian yeah, we're yeah. Yeah. Just say hello. Hello. There you go. Hey, can I ask you a question? Is that audience good looking? Are they pretty? <laughs> oh. <laughs> If she didn't understand what I was saying, she wouldn't say exactly what I needed her to say, right? Wow. So, so, yeah. and so we're going to demonstrate a little bit. We're going to sing a song. Would you guys like to hear her sing? Okay. Okay. Sure. Now, part sure. of what I do when I, when I work with the birds, it kind of makes me a little bit unique, is I'm very interactive with the birds. It means I don't have them sit over there and have her sing a song. I'm going to sing with her, which is going to be your nightmare. But <laughs> otherwise, <laughs> she loves when I interact with her. And before we sing the song, let's warm your voice up. Warm it up. A little higher. Push it real hard. understands what I'm saying, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's sing a song. It's called, Oh, What a Beautiful Morning. Oh, What a Beautiful Day. We're going to do this together. You ready? Oh, What a Beautiful Morning. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful morning. My turn. I've got this beautiful morning. Everything's going. My, my. Say yeah. 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 I was wondering, do you think Beatrice will, will take us to break? Oh, yeah, she can take us right to break right now. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm.